No, no, they can't take that away from me. Hi, this is Ted Nguyen. I'm so excited about Social Media Day, where we have hundreds of people from throughout Southern California gathering at the Orange County Register to celebrate the second annual Social Media Day from Mashable. And Rochelle Vitoris and I are going to be capturing the moments of Social Media Day. And I decided to ask among my social media friends what their social media moment is. So here we go. Let's check it out. All right. Tell me your name and your social media moment. All right. My name is Dean Soto, and my Twitter handle is at Dean Soto. And uh, my biggest social media moment, the most impactful one, was had to be uh, ConnectOC. Uh, um, I had I had almost no social media experience for a, a, for a couple of months. Got on Twitter and met some amazing people to include Ted Wynn and uh, asked to be a part of Connect OC. And through that, met up to 400 people, saw, saw the power of what social media can do. Um, uh, 400 people who wanted to make a difference for nonprofits, charities, um, and also to kind of stimulate the economy in Orange County. It was a pretty amazing, pretty amazing thing to uh, see and very impactful. All right, I'm here with Debbie Miller. Debbie, tell us your Hi. Twitter handle and tell me what was your social media moment? Okay, my Twitter handle is the Big Dabowski, and I can't think of one specific social media moment, but I would say just kind of the overall experience with social media as it's become such a big part of my life, and now I do it for my profession as well. So I spend a large, or a large portion of my day on Twitter and Facebook for businesses and then for myself as well. And it's opened a lot of doors for me, both personally and professionally. I've made a lot of relationships that I wouldn't have otherwise made. And it's opened up other opportunities like uh, side projects and my own blog and other things like that. So it's been a really fun experience. My company is Nodix Tech. We build mobile websites and QR code solutions. I have some Twitter search keywords, uh, such as mobile website designs that I follow on Twitter. And I saw someone one day tweet, looking for mobile website design inspirations. So I, I had some page bookmarked. I didn't think much of it. I just tweeted him. Next thing I knew, we started talking, sharing some tweets, and I found out within a month, he was a graphic designer or interactive designer at a marketing agency. The marketing agency was looking to get into mobile websites, and I had a conference call with their partners. The next thing I know, they've shot me half a dozen to a dozen mobile websites in the course of a few months. And they are my largest client that I found on Twitter just from listening and just from engaging. Hi, I'm Carolyn Santanello. My Twitter handle is at OC Realtress. And my social media aha moment would be early on in my Twitter career when I met someone at a, um, a tweet up and she was the uh, owner of Avant Gardens. And I ended up connecting with her and my, one of my clients had a very serious thing that happened to them and contacted her. She took care of my clients in a way that was so special and I'll never forget that moment. So it really pays to get to know people in your community online as well as in real life. My social media moment. I've actually had quite a few social media moments. Um, I can think the most recent though is the opportunity to actually be one of the Orange County business bloggers for OC Metro. So I post articles every Friday and that's because of um, the friends and connections that I made through social media. Um, and as a business owner, I've made, um, I've met so many great people and I've had uh, met clients off of using Twitter and Facebook. So those are some really big social media moments for me. Well, we uh, launched a Twitter account about two years ago and for the Auto Club of Southern California and we earlier this year surpassed 3,000 followers and the reason that's important is because it's a closed account. You have to ask to be part of it because of this whole thing about AAA and there's a whole bunch of different clubs that are part of AAA so we have to lock off our accounts to make them regional. So the fact that we are over 3,200 uh, followers now with our Twitter account and it's locked off, I mean you have to be request to get into it, I think it's pretty much a milestone. Right. So what can people learn about AAA via your Twitter feed? Well we try to be quite uh, prolific about it. We, we talk about this, the discounts members can get through uh, AAA doc, uh, discounts. We talk about uh, the different traffic safety issues we have, like uh, drinking and driving prevention, uh, 
team driver safety, senior mobility. We use it to talk about some of our services as well, our roadside assistance. If we hit a milestone there, we'll, we'll tweet about the news that we do, uh, we produce every day. So uh, it's, it's pretty pretty prolific and pretty wide, wide ranging. My social media moment, probably the moment that got me the most excited about it was the day Facebook opened up accounts for people who weren't in college. And I remember just waiting by the computer going, I have to have it, I have to have it. And then getting that account and just being so excited to do my first poke and my first status update. And from there, I was totally hooked. I'm Kelly George. I work in social media for the Disneyland Resort. And my social media moment uh, came early on in my career when I was a public affairs officer for the United States Air Force. And I was on the team um, that initially started using social media for the first time with the military. So obviously there was a lot of hurdles, but it was so rewarding in the end to be able to tell the stories of the men and women who are serving our country. We got to write the DOD regulations for the use of social media in the military. Um, and it was just a great moment to be able to open up the eyes of a group that is just so staunch and traditional to the world of social media and all that it has to offer. Social media moment was just a few weeks ago when I reached my 1,000th follower on Twitter, uh, which was prefaced by uh, a push where I try to get people to, where I try to get at least 1,000 followers by a certain time, by midnight on a certain day. And if I did so, if I reached my goal by then, then I would donate at least $100 to charity, to four different charities, and dividing that evenly. My name is Heather Tanji, and I'm a senior at Biola University with a major in public relations. And my Twitter handle is Heather Akemi, A-K-E-M-I, that's like uh, My social media moment, you know, I have, I've had Twitter since I was about 16 years old. But it was this year, really, when I went to a conference for PRSSA that I really found the value of Twitter. Because I met a bunch of people, but we didn't have time to exchange phone numbers or anything, but we found each other on Twitter. So we'd be communicating through there and meeting up and networking with each other that way, and it was really cool. And then just like from there, I just kind of started um, reading more about PR and getting to know more people in the OC and the LA area through Twitter, just kind of connecting and following their feeds and the stuff. So it's been good. It's been a good experience so far. Okay, so my social media, oh, Rebecca Hall, <laughs> and I have, my Twitter handle is Idea Hall, and I don't know why I'm looking at everybody else <laughs> instead of you, Ted. Um, That's right, it's a paparazzi. <laughs> my social media moment, my most funny social media moment was when my husband found out that I have both a personal and a professional Facebook. And it caused a whole lot of discussion, but I still prefer to keep my social life and my professional contacts a little bit separate. I'm Lisa Teus uh, with the Transportation Quarter Agency. We run the toll roads in Orange County. And my Twitter moment, not Twitter moment, my Facebook moment was probably when we started our, our Facebook for the toll roads and start, started seeing our customers answer questions of other people about their driving habits. So things like, people saying there's a problem on the toll road and other people would answer the questions and that's when I really realized just how, how strong and powerful social media can be. Hi, I'm Christopher Trello with Arts PR and our Twitter handle is ArtsPR1. And probably our greatest social media moment, well we've had a lot of great ones obviously, but we've been extremely successful in giving away tickets on both Facebook and Twitter. And basically we tweet that we're going to give tickets away at a certain time. Uh, people tell their friends to watch for what we're going to do and at 10 o'clock we ask a quick trivia question. People bombard us with answers and usually the first person or first five people win tickets to the play. That creates buzz, and the next time we do it, even more people now have joined in, and they know what we're going to do. So it's a great way to engage more followers. We have the inventory. We're glad to give the tickets away. People love coming, and it's, it's just a great thing that, uh, that we do for the good of Playhouse. So that's our social media moment.